everyone, Fed here, and welcome back to another how to build video. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to build a working microwave. Now, if you don't want to make it work, that's absolutely fine, but I think I did a pretty good job on this microwave. Everything is pretty aesthetically pleasing on this. Now, as you can see, we have the buttons to turn it on. We also have the plate on the inside where it will turn around, where it will spin to make sure that your food gets cooked evenly. Now, I do everything on vanilla Minecraft. This is not modded. This is no command blocks. There's no custom heads on this. Everything is vanilla. So if you pick up the game, you can easily make this. I try to do that with all my builds because I know not everyone can use command blocks and I know everyone doesn't want to get into the mods and the custom heads. But if you can do custom heads on PC, highly recommend doing it. It will make it look a lot better. But everything here is vanilla now. But also the other cool thing about this microwave, it absolutely works. So if I throw in a piece of raw chicken, a piece of raw, uh, raw pork chop, raw beef, it will actually cook it for me. It will make sounds. It will light up and it will also even make the beep beep sound after it's done cooking it. So we're going to go ahead and throw it in. I'm going to let you guys listen to everything so you can hear the whole entire microwave working. So here we go. And as you heard, it made the beep beep sound. And then we also got our cooked chicken. So I'm going to go ahead and do it one more time. We're going to look at the redstone and then we'll jump into this build. So here we go. And there is our cooked pork chop. So blue and blue. So let's go ahead and look at the redstone behind this thing. And like I said, you don't have to build the working part. You can just build the microwave in case you just want a microwave in your world. But here is all the redstone behind this thing. We have a furnace down here that is cooking our food. We also have this, well, I guess an item elevator to push the items out. So once it's done cooking, you will get your cooked item. And then back here, this is the note block that makes the sound where it goes beep beep once it's done. And then right back here, we have a comparator coming out of that furnace, which turns on this light up here. And then we have a minecart over here going back and forth, back and forth, making the sound. So it sounds like it's kind of spinning, you know, microwave will go kind of sound. So I just wanted to make something very simple to make some sounds while I was going around in a circle. So I just used a little minecart trick right here. So that's also another thing. If you have your minecart sounds turned off on the game, because you can go to settings, audio, and actually turn off your minecart sounds, I uh, highly recommend turning that on because then you, you won't hear the sounds when the microwave is going. Now, I'm going to be building this thing straight with you. I'm not giving a resource list. I usually love doing resource lists, but this is something that's more of a creative build. If you want to do it on survival, you absolutely can. But I highly recommend building this on creative, get a feel to it. And then if you want to try to do it on survival, if you have a lot of resources, then you can go ahead and do that. But we're going to go ahead and start up on this tutorial. Also, another thing before we start this tutorial, I completely forgot. I know some of you are going to ask, can I cook stacks of items? If you want the light and if you want the sound of the minecart going back and forth, then you cannot do stacked items. I wanted to make it so it's like a microwave. You can't throw 64 steaks into a microwave and have it cook. And if you're cooking your steak inside a microwave, then you're cooking your steak the wrong way. So I wanted to make it so everything worked like a microwave. So if you want to do stacks, you're going to have to sacrifice the light and the sound. But let's go ahead and start up on this build. All right, guys, so we're gonna start off by building the microwave first. This is just so people, in case they don't want the whole working function, you just want the microwave itself. But I know hopefully most of you will wanna build the entire working microwave because that's pretty much what my channel is all about. It's all about redstone. So let's go ahead and get started up on this microwave. So my microwave, I want it to go right here on these two blocks. So we're gonna start off by digging down one block right here. Now this is where our plate's gonna be going inside the microwave. See how we can see right inside of it and there's the plate right there. So we're gonna place down an armor stand. And then we're going to go ahead and place an iron helmet right on top of it like that. Next up, we're going to take out a torch and place a torch right here at the bottom. This will give extra light to it. And then we're also going to break the block behind it to give as much light as possible. Now, right here to the right-hand side is where our whole number pad is going to be going. We're actually going to be using a banner for this, which I found out is pretty cool. If you actually color a banner and put it inside of an item frame, it will keep its coloring. So it kind of looks like buttons inside of that. And I feel like that's really cool for vanilla players. So right next to this armor stand, we're going to break this block and we're going to place down an enchantment table. And then what we're going to do is place a block right here at the front of the enchantment table. And now we're going to come to the backhand side of our microwave and we're going to place in yet again another armor stand backwards with a wither skeleton skull on top of it. Next up, we're going to place a block, of course, right above our wither skeleton skull. Now, if you want to change the color of your uh, microwave, you absolutely can. I'm going to be using quartz. I'm going to keep the entire thing white. But if you want to change the color of microwave, go right ahead. You don't need to keep it white. Then we're going to place a piston facing downwards into our quartz blocks. So take out your pistons, face one downwards into that quartz block, and then go ahead and send power to it. Now, the reason why we have to send power into this for right now is just simply because the armor stand will get in the way of the item frame where we're going to be placing in our banner. 
Next up, what we're going to have to do is actually use a banner. So I wish I didn't put that iron helmet on. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out a, I believe I used a black banner for this part. So we're going to need a black banner. And then we're also going to need some bone meal. So take out a bunch of bone meal. Now I'm going to be doing this on console. So I'm going to take out a crafting bench. We're going to put down a crafting table, I mean. And we're going to go inside our crafting table and then go over to banners. Select our black banner. And then what I want you to do is we're going to head over to the area that has that little circle on it, I believe. So we're going to press RB. Now, of course, if you are on PC, it does have the crafting recipe right there at the bottom left-hand corner. So you won't be lost the entire way. Next up, we're going to go over three. And right there, we're going to go up one. And as you can see, we have a piece of bone meal down in the left-hand corner. Now, that's for PC players. You can see the crafting recipe right down there in the bottom left-hand corner. So we're going to click that one. So what we're going to do is press Y to add it to our banner. Next up, we're going to go over one, and we're going to do this one as well. So you can see the crafting recipe right at the bottom for PC players. And then we're going to go over one again and press it, press it again. Go over again and press it once more. So now we have four buttons. We have two at the top and two at the bottom. Then we're going to swing back over here to the first one, and we're going to put a line of white through the middle as well. So like I said, PC players, you can see it at the bottom left-hand corner. We're going to add a, bottom of, a line of white at the bottom as well. And then we're just going to take out our banner. And there is our banner we're going to be using. As you can see, it kind of looks like buttons. And then we're going to place this inside of our item frame so place it right inside of your item frame just like that and if you want to turn it go ahead you can put it on the side put it upside down i like to just keep it the way it is when you first place it in next up we're going to take out our piston once again and now we're going to push our armor stand towards this block right here so place your piston off the side send power to it and it'll push the armor stand with that wither skull inside of it right into your item frame and there is our microwave Next up, we're going to go ahead and take out a quartz staircase. So go over, take out a quartz staircase like that. And we're going to place our quartz staircase upside down right next to our microwave. And now we're going to have to send power into this with a piston facing downwards. So send a piston. So place a piston facing downwards into your staircase and then send power to it boop, like that. And as you can see, it looks like a plate. Now we're going to go ahead and take out a glass block. Use any color you want. I'm just going to be using regular glass and bloop. There's our microwave. And then right behind it, we're going to go ahead and place in a redstone lamp. So take out a redstone lamp and place it right behind the glass. Next up, take out some walling blocks of choice. I'm going to be using blue and place two walling blocks right above this redstone lamp. So one, two. And then what you're going to do is take out some iron trap doors and place two iron trap doors right above your microwave. And that is the entire microwave completely done. So if you don't want to do any redstone whatsoever, there is your microwave completely done. You can go ahead and just put a uh, countertop around it. So let's say I just want to use oak. So bloop, 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 bloop like that. And there's your microwave completely done. But I'm sure most of you are here to make the whole entire microwave work. So let's go ahead and get started up on the redstone. Now to get started up on the redstone, what we're actually going to have to do is remove this staircase, this glass block, and this iron trap door just for now. The reason why I did that is just so people can build the microwave in case they didn't want to do any of the redstone. We're going to be placing it back in, but first we have to get in something else before we place all that stuff in. So what we're going to need before we place in the entire microwave, we're going to need a hopper, a powered rail, and then a minecart with a hopper. And then we're also going to need the countertop color of your choice. I'm going to be using dark oak planks like I did over there. So I'm going to place my, my dark oak wood plank right here in front of this block like that. And then what I want you to do is dig down a block right here and place a hopper right into the top of that block. Place a power rail on top of your hopper by going into a sneak mode and or crouch mode. So go into sneak mode and then place in your rail like that. And now make sure it is facing towards your armor stand. So place another one like this in case it's not. Make sure it is facing towards the armor stand. Break it and then place your minecart with a hopper right on top of it. Next up, what I want you to do is just walk right here into the middle of this block, right into that block right there. So make sure you hit the block. So boop and stop yourself. What you want to do is push it over to the amount of where this block is. So as you can see, I'm hitting this block right here and it pushed my minecart into my armor stand. Make sure it only goes in that much. Next up, what we're going to do is break the power rail underneath it by looking right at the power rail. Make sure you're looking at the power rail and then go ahead and break your power rail. It will fall into place. Next up, we're going to take out another dark oak plank because that's the color I'm using for my countertop. We're going to place it right above our minecart. Take out a piston and a block of redstone. So a piston and a block of redstone. Place a piston upside down going into that block like that. Send power to it and it will push it right into the minecart. And now we can place in the rest of our microwave once again. So go ahead and take out your quartz stairs once again. So we're going to take out our quartz stairs. Place a quartz stair upside down right above your armor stand. doesn't really matter which way it is facing, but I usually like to make sure it's facing towards the backhand side. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and just remove this for just now. So I'm going to place it like that and make sure it's facing that way. Take a piston, place it facing downwards into it. 
and then go ahead and just send power to it so boop and that will push it into place and then we can go ahead and place in the rest of our microwave once again so just go ahead and take out your glass you're gonna need your rest of the lamp once again if you broke it like i did and we're also going to need our iron trap door so boop boop and boop there we go Oop, actually i don't have enough room so let me go ahead and remove some stuff oh you know i have my, I have my glass block right here so place in your glass block place in your redstone lamp place in your walling block of choice i'm going to be using blue like i did over there and not magenta i need blue <laughs> actually that was purple and then we're going to place in our iron trap door just like that so now what this will do is when we throw our item at it like this bloop it will go into it and then it'll funnel down into this hopper and that's where our food's going to be going so next up we're going to need a furnace we're going to need our hoppers once again we are going to need some droppers and then, you know what, let's go ahead and just keep it like that and we're gonna place in everything and then we could start up on the redstone. So now right here at the front hand side, let's go ahead and just dig out this area a little bit. All you need to do is dig down three. That's the furthest it's gonna go down is three. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. We can go ahead and dig out this whole area. Just make sure you don't dig underneath your microwave because you don't want your armor stands to fall. This one and this one right here. You can see where the uh, the enchantment table one is, but right here, just make sure you don't break that block. So we're just gonna, you know, let's go ahead and just dig around. Like I said, you can dig down at least three underneath it. So boop, boop. Boop. Make sure not to break the block that has our armor stand. You're going to have to place that all back in. And that's going to be very, very tedious. So now that we have this whole entire little area opened up, come right underneath your hopper. And we're going to go ahead and place in our furnace right here. So boop, like that. Then right in front of your furnace, we're going to take out our droppers. Make sure they're droppers, not dispensers. And we're going to place a dropper facing upwards right here in front of your furnace. And then we're going to place another one right on top of this. So go into sneak mode and or crouch mode. Jump up and place one more. And that's going to be the only droppers you're going to need for this build. Then underneath your furnace, we're going to take out our hoppers and going into this dropper, go into sneak mode and or crouch mode and place another hopper going into the side of the dropper. As you can see, it's going into the side of the dropper. Next up from the front of your microwave, we're going to take out our hoppers once again and place one more hopper going into the side of your furnace off the right hand side like that. So as you can see, it is funneling into our furnace from the right hand side now we can go ahead and make sure everything is working for now so what we're going to do is go ahead and take out uh one piece of wood you're just going to need one piece of wood and then we're also going to need some st and then we're also going to need something to cook so let's go ahead and just use some raw chicken so place in one piece of wood into your furnace so now when i throw my raw chicken right here at this bloop it will funnel into it and then it'll start cooking inside of the furnace so once it gets done cooking it will funnel down into this dropper right here so you see the chicken's cooking and then once it's done, it'll funnel down into the hopper and then funnel over into this dropper. Now what we're going to have to do is make it so it pushes it through this dropper into this one and then out of the dropper into our hands. So what we're going to do now is we're going to dig out this area a little bit more right here to the left hand side of your droppers like that. And now what we're going to need is comparators. So take out a comparator. We're going to need a repeater. We're going to need some redstone. And then we're also going to need a note block so it makes the beep beep sound when it is done. And that means we're also going to need some dirt. So take out one dirt block as well. So coming out of the bottom dropper right here, we're going to place a redstone comparator. Place a repeater coming out of it on one tick delay. Break down a block in front of the repeater, place it in your dirt. And then place in your note block right above it. So boop. And now what I want you to do is hit your note block 24 times. So one, two, three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four so make sure you hit it twenty four times and then we're going to do is place in three pieces of redstone right here one two and three like that and as you can see it's just going on and off on and off and on off because we have our item inside of right here next so we're going to do is i'm just going to do this really quickly so we don't have to keep hearing this we're going to place in a block right next to our dropper Place a piece of redstone on top of it. Place a repeater going into the block with that redstone. And then place in two more pieces of redstone behind it. So one, two, and boop. And as you see, it pushed out our item. And there you have it. So now if we go ahead and we'll, you know, let's go ahead and just test it out one more time. So place one piece of wood inside your furnace. Just one piece of wood. Then we're going to go ahead and take out something we can go ahead and cook. So let's just use chicken again. So go ahead and throw in your chicken. Boop. It will turn it on. So now it's going to cook the chicken. And then when the, once the chicken is done, it will funnel over to the dropper. It will go beep, beep, and it will push our item out. So once it's done, and there you go. It went beep, beep, and it pushed our item out, and now we have some cooked chicken. Next up, we're going to go ahead and set up our light back there. So what we're going to do now is take out some more comparators. 
We're also going to need repeaters. A sticky piston and or piston. If you use a piston, you're going to need uh, sand. But I'm going to go ahead and just use a sticky piston. We're also going to need some redstone torches. Some redstone. And also just blocks to put our redstone down on. So what we're going to do is come over here to the backhand side. And where our armor stands on top of this block, we're just going to dig out this area right here. Let's go ahead and just dig it out a little bit. There we go. So coming out of the block that our armor stands on, we're going to place a redstone comparator going that way. Place a block in front of your redstone comparator with a redstone torch on top of it. Block on top of the redstone torch. And a redstone torch on top of the block. And that will turn on the lamp. Next up behind the block that our redstone comparator is going into, we're going to place a piece of redstone right back here like that. Break the block next to it and place a sticky piston and or piston facing upwards. If you're using a piston, make sure you're using sand. And then place a block on top of it like so. Then coming out of your sticky piston right here, we're going to place a repeater going towards our hopper right here. So place a repeater like that. And set your repeater to two ticks delay. Then in front of your two tick delay repeater, place in a block. And then place a redstone torch to the side of that block. What that will do is lock this hopper. Now what I want you to do is just take out a stack of wood. Doesn't matter what wood you're using, just use oak, it doesn't really matter. And place in a stack of wood into this hopper. And as you can see, it's not funneling into our furnace thanks to that redstone torch. Now that should make our light work. So now if we take out a piece of raw chicken and or, well, anything raw really doesn't matter. So let's go ahead and just use a raw pork chop this time. And we throw it in, bloop, our light should work. So boop, our light comes on because this will actually let you funnel in one item. See, it funneled in one oak plank into your furnace so we could cook it. So our light comes on. And then once it's done, the light will go off and it'll beep, beep. And then our item will pop out. So next up, we're gonna set up the sound for it. So we're gonna swing over here to this side and right here where that redstone torch is, we're just gonna dig down two blocks. One, two, one, two, and one, two. Now for this part, we're going to need a powered rail. Well, two powered rails, a rail, and a minecart. And make sure your minecart sounds are on or else you, well, you won't hear the microwave. So right here next to the block that has our redstone torch, we're gonna place in a powered rail. Rail, powered rail. And you know what, we actually have to send power to this powered rail. So let's go ahead and just dig down one more block here. Take out a redstone block and place a redstone block right here with a powered rail on top of it. And then place in your minecart off the rail that is off. So boop, just like that. And that should make the sounds. So now if we take out a raw pork chop, once again, well, anything really, and we throw it inside of here, bloop, like that. As you can hear, it's making the sounds. Lights are on. And then once it's done, it will push out the item. And guys, you are completely done. So, and then once it's done, it will go beep, beep. And there we go. We got our cooked pork chop. So guys, there you go, sounds. We have the light, and then we also have the dinging sound once it's done. Now, of course, I know your friends, some people are gonna end up breaking your stuff. So before we actually move on, there's actually one more thing we do have to do before I show you how to fix anything in case it breaks. So what we're gonna need here is a chest, and we're gonna go right on top of this hopper and place in a chest right above this hopper. Then inside this chest, just fill it up with wood. Fill it up with as much wood as possible. That's just so you don't have to keep going in there to keep placing in wood every time it runs out of wood. So just Fill up this entire chest of wood. Check it every now and then in case someone uses your microwave a million times a day. I don't know how many times you could possibly use this thing. But just make sure this thing has enough wood inside of it. Then right above the chest, we're going to actually take out a staircase coloring that your countertop is. So I'm going to be using my dark oak planks. I'm going to place a staircase upside down right above it. That's just so our chest can open. If you use a full block, then the chest will not be able to open. And now if you want to set it up so you can add more wood to the chest, or if you have to go inside this hopper because someone threw an item in here that is not uh, able to smelt. So boop, if you say I throw this in here, it's just going to throw an item in here and it's going to end up, well, actually this should, no, it's not going to work. See how it's going to just set it in here and then it's just never going to turn off and it's going to break everything inside your build. See how that just broke everything? Well, we're going to set it up so in case it breaks something like that, we can open it up and fix everything. So now if it does break where it opens up into the furnace, just have a way to get down into your furnace uh, to add items in. All you to do is just take out a sticky piston place the sticky piston right here off the right hand side and then take out your flooring color of choice i'm going to be using quartz and i'm also going to be using black hardened clay and just place in a block of choice right above it like that then all you have to do is just dig down three blocks one two three place a block here place a piece of redstone off the top of it so a piece of redstone and you're also going to need a lever for this part as well place a piece of redstone block above it and then lever. So now when we flip up the lever, it closes it. So now if you need to go inside and do any maintenance, you can open it up. You can go inside this chest. You can go inside this hopper right here. 
And then if you want to get into the furnace over here, you're pretty much just going to have to do the same exact thing on this side. But I highly recommend, you know, just having a way in the back area. You know, let's, let's go ahead and just clean everything up and then I'll show you what I mean. So let's go ahead and take out our dark oak planks. I'm just going to so I'm just going to go ahead and quickly clean up everything and then we can just make a way down inside in case we need to fix anything in case anything breaks. So we're going to place in our uh, countertop. So I'm going to be using my dark oak planks, place it right around my microwave, and then I'm going to be using blue for my wall. So I'm going to go ahead and place up my blue blocks like that and my blue blocks on this side as well to hide up all the redstone so there's the microwave and then for my flooring i'm just going to make a checkerboard pattern so let me go ahead and close this real quick so make a checkerboard pattern like this so bloop 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 just make my checkerboard pattern all the way down to the end and then i could just wrap it around this way so there is everything completely cleaned up and you know we can add more countertop here and we're going to add a little more countertop on that side as well and you know let me go ahead and put some more walling in boop boop and boop boop so now if you want to you know just make a back area to get underneath here all you need to do is just make sure you can get down underneath it so let's say i wanted a staircase right here just to get down inside of it in case i needed to fix anything that broke so boop boop so i can come down here i can go into my furnace now and then if you wanted to you know you can just go around this area and now we can walk right over here oh another thing guys make sure there's no block next to that hopper see that hopper right there make sure there's absolutely no block next to it or else we'll just send power into that hopper locking it forever but there you guys have it all you need is just a little staircase to get down here in case anything breaks you know put it behind something maybe you have a closet or something like that so no one can see it but there is the microwave completely done so now if we take out something to cook so bloop and we go ahead and just throw it inside of it boop it'll start cooking it it will make the sound and now we have ourselves a cooked pork chop and guys i'm sorry that this video probably took much longer than i wanted to my back is really really messed up right now i'll probably put something at the beginning just to let you know but there you guys have that's how you build a working microwave inside of minecraft if you enjoyed this video make sure you leave a like and subscribe stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys peace